Welcome to the Orange Kettlebell Club video blog, your spot for weekly wellness and kettlebell sport performance, tips, and reviews. This week we're going to be talking about the four point cat cow. It's a move that's very similar to one you've probably seen in yoga, except there's a winding of the spine. So it's a really great way to kind of get you out of low back pain. I used to do it all the time when I was trying to escape uh, the SI joint pain and the sciatic pain that I used to get about six or seven years ago. So I use this exercise uh, upon waking up basically uh, before training, after training, and then also a little bit before bed. The shirt shout out of the week, Long Beach Kettlebell Club, run by owner and head trainer Eric Doyle. If you're ever in Long Beach, stop by, check the place out. They work on a lot of unconventional training, so there's a lot of uh, mace bells, clubs, of course the kettlebells, they have a kettlebell sport team there. Uh, they, do a, they do a lot of really, really cool training down there, great spot. And uh, if you walk in, the artwork you see on my t-shirt here, they have it on the wall, it's like 20 feet wide. Super cool spot to be anyway, go check it out. All right, so, the four point cat cow. I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show what it looks like from the front first and then from the side. So, what you're gonna do, come down, and get down on the knee, put your knees together like such, and make sure the knees are directly under the hips. Now, your hands will be slightly wider than shoulder distance, shoulder width, and slightly out in front of the shoulder. From here, what you're going to do is create a mountain, so you're going to arch, you're going to round upward. Create a mountain, then create a valley. Then you're going to shift over to the side. Now notice when I'm shifting to the side, whatever side I'm shifting to, in other words, wherever my hips go, that side, that arm is going to be locked. You see? So we want to lock the arm, not use the muscle. So if you were to tap your elbow, you're basically gonna collapse. So stack your bones so you can remain relaxed. Now you'll just shift over, and this arm is basically unweighted. Your face is looking down at the top of your hand, and you're relaxed here. So wherever the lower body goes, the upper body and the head go in opposition. This is how we wind the spine in a transverse plane. Winding. Then you'll shift over to the other side, and same thing here. I'm stacked here, my elbow's locked, but I'm relaxed. I shift that hip over, then my upper body, my head facing the other way, looking down toward the top of my hand. This arm is basically unloaded. Then I'll go back to mountain, valley, side, side. And I'll repeat that as many times as necessary to kind of free me up or get me out of pain if I'm feeling discomfort in the low back. So this is what it looks like from the side. Knees together, directly under the hip. Hands out. Round, creating the mountain, and then the valley, and then side, and then side. Mountain, valley, side, side. Okay, try it out, see if it works for yourself. Wake up, do it, before bed, do it, before and after training, try it out, okay? And you can perform that exercise at your own speed. You can go slow, medium pace, or quickly. It all depends on how you're feeling. So try it out, all right? I'm Jason Dolby. This has been the Orange Kettlebell Club video blog. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.